Sarah Gwendolyn reading method and I went on the oh-so-stereotypical honeymoon to Hawaii. Here's how we figured it. After a wedding, all we're gonna want to do is chillax on a beach. And oh, were we right. I read 13 books on my honeymoon, which, having been born on a Friday the 13th, is my lucky number. I'm not gonna go through the full list here, I'm just gonna call out some highlights and then you can check out the full list in the notes below. They were all frothy beach reads, not a serious book in sight, and they were pretty much all horrific. For example, in one book, this character keeps introducing himself as Gwen's man. I don't know, it just sounds awkward. And as a Gwen, I forbid Mr. Gwendolyn Reading Method from ever introducing himself as that. Others were parts of series that I really, really like, but they just didn't live up to the rest of the series. Overall, I didn't really love any of the books I read, though I solidly liked six of them, just being slightly edged out by the books I didn't like at seven. But what is your first time to Hawaii without a guidebook? And we got our guidebook in a really great way. On the plane, they had a contest to see who could guess the time when we would pass the halfway mark to Hawaii. The guy next to us was off by like seven seconds, so he won. He turned to us and said, I'm a local, I don't need this guidebook, are you guys visiting? And we're like, we're on our honeymoon. So he proceeded to write all sorts of great personal recommendations for restaurants and places to go in Hawaii and told us about how he and his wife had been married for 40 years. Later in the week, we randomly decided to go try one of his suggestions, a little local sushi bar. When we got there, guess who we ran into? the guy from the plane and his wife. So we spent a great evening with all the locals in the bar recommending great food and drink to us and getting to hear about a great marriage that has lasted for a very, very long time. So this is a shout out to Professor Emmett Yoshioka, formerly of USC, from, as the inscription in the guidebook says, the honeymooning newlywed. He says he Googles his name all the time, so this is a little surprise for the next time he Googles his name. Anyway, tell me in the comments what you would put on your dream honeymoon reading list, and like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I read 13 books on my honeymoon. Where, where was I when you were reading these 13 books? <laughs>